Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Breeders Corner. I'm just so excited to tell you that my LEDs have finally arrived. Um, um, can't tell you how much I've appreciated doing business with these guys from Rapid LED. They have showed me really good customer service and the shipping was crazy fast. Just wanted to let you guys know that it took less than a week for it to get here not even a week to be honest with you so I'm gonna do an unboxing right now and show you what I've got and so hopefully sometime in, in the near future I'm gonna be showing you a full detail on how um, I'm gonna go about doing this whole DIY package and installing it on my main tank and stuff like that so let's see here um, we have some UV um, this is going to be the ultra violet LEDs. Eight of those. Have um, four of the green LEDs. Um, I don't know, like some cool white and royal blues. Some more royal blues. And some more cool whites. I have a total of 60 LEDs here. Here we have all the lenses that I ordered. Uh, I have the 40 degree lenses right here. The 65 degree lenses here. And here are the 80 degree lenses. All the lenses are over here for all those LEDs. Um, also I have a whole bunch of like um, wires and nuts and stuff like that and also they sent me a free um, battery tester that comes with the order I guess sorry it's like a um, it's more of a like LED tester you put some batteries in it and you test how the LEDs are working before you actually solder them here's some more wires and nuts um, I have the Two part um, thermal adhesive, two bags of those, and one of the thermal grease. Let's see. Have all the power cords right here, a whole bunch of them, because I'm going to be running like five or six of the um, drivers on it. I have, they sent me a whole bunch of the screws to hold down the LEDs. Um, this one is probably for the moonlights right here. Which are right here. This is the four moonlight kit right here. So I have four uh, moonlight LEDs. It's going to be more than enough for my 90 gallon actually. It comes with... Uh, stickers and stuff like that so you can stick them if you don't have um, if you don't have some heat sinks I don't know what this is but probably something that I need I'm just opening this up as we're doing this this you're seeing at the same time I am actually oh okay this is gonna be the digital um, daylight controller so this is a pretty pretty cool piece. Um, I can control three different settings here um, to do sunlight, sun, sunrise, sunset settings um, between 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour of sunrise, sunset and then you can control the brightness and everything without using a poten potentiometer. This is the reason I got this one is I did not want to use a potentiometer. I wanted everything to be digital and to be able to control it with my um, reef keeper. Um, so this is the reason I got this one. It's a pretty cool piece. And then here we have all the different drivers. This is one of them. Here's another driver. And then we have all the other drivers right there. Now this is going to be the cool piece right here. And these are the new heat sinks that they have. Um, let me try to find my blade over here so I can cut it open and show you guys what it is. 
try to do this with one hand. I know I don't have the tripod on me right now, but I wanted to show you guys the details of this. I got two of these heat sinks. Actually, let me put you down for a second. Yeah, I got these heat sinks. They're the cool new black ones they have. I'll show you right now. They're pretty massive suckers. There you go. They do have a little bit of blemishes like they stated online, but that's okay. Since um, they're going to be covered with the LEDs and such. So, I don't really care about that. Besides, it's going to be inside the the fixture that I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. I just thought it looked really, really cool. You can actually mount it in a fixture or leave it just like that outside. Um, with this big bad boy right here, I don't, I didn't think I needed any fans, so I'm not going to run any fans right now. Um, since it is LEDs, I don't think it will need any fans and some stuff like that. Um, but in the future, if I do find that it does need fans, I will do that. Also, it has nice little grooves right here. I don't know if you guys could see them. Right here, it has grooves so you can put splash guards and stuff like that on it and make it look pretty sweet. So the LEDs will sit right here and the splash guard right on top of it in this rail. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's going to be an exciting build for me. I'm going right, to do it right here in my workshop in the garage. Right next to all the other fish tanks and stuff like that. It's a big mess right now, but yeah. Um... Hope you guys enjoyed this. Keep in um, touch with me on my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe so you can um, get quick updates on the next videos and stuff like that. Also, uh, keep an eye out on uh, my um, subscription list for this build right here. It's going to be called DIY Aquarium LEDs or something like that. Um, it's going to be a huge build. It's going to make the tank look crazy different and just excited to tell you guys that this is it hope you guys enjoyed take it easy and i'll see you guys in the next episode